All right, how's it going? Welcome to my floor. So I've got a wedding in the Lake District tomorrow. Fancy. And I thought, I know who'd love to watch me pack. YouTube. So this is just gonna be a really quick video and I'm just gonna literally go through everything that I take to a wedding. Whether it's a short wedding that's close or it's a long wedding that's far away. I pack all this gear every time and I just take out what I need when I need it. So I'm gonna make it a bit brighter in here and I'm gonna show you what I take. So this is pretty much everything I pack for a wedding. Everything just goes in this roller case. It's so easy to pull around. It's got wheels in it and I can drag it about everywhere when I need to. At a wedding though what I'll do is I'll leave this in the boot and I just take out what I need when I need it and I just put it into another camera bag. So first things first obviously camera 5d mark 4 so i'll either have my dual harness on where i'm wearing two cameras or i'll always have this strap on my hand this is custom made from cooper and lella logo and name on it pretty cool and 16 at 35 i'll usually start off with this lens on on a wedding day mainly because nobody really wants a camera shoved in the face straight away so i'll start the day by getting wide shots so 16 at 35 and canon 5d mark 4 so i've also got the canon r6 which you are using right now there it is. And that's got the 35mm on it. Obviously won't be using the microphone. I'll be honest, I don't know whether to make a video on it or not, but I've had a bit of a nightmare with the Canon R6. In fact, it was that bad I had to go and reshoot a job on the 5D just because the pictures were just totally poor. It's partly because I'm probably not using it to its full extent, but also the quality just wasn't there for this lighting situation for this job. And when I tried to correct it, it just couldn't handle it. It couldn't handle the halogens, the LEDs and the window light. I know that sounds like an absolute nightmare anyway, but the R6 just couldn't bring them colours back. I just could not get the colours to match up right. And the quality just wasn't there when the ISO was pushed under those circumstances so I had to go back to the job I offered to and I just reshot the whole shoot. So next up just got loads of lenses which you've probably seen in another video 24 to 70 for a bit of zoom, 50mm for portraits and couples pictures, 85 for zoom if I'm at the back of a ceremony or if I'm far away or again doing couples portraits I'll use those. Got my harness for two cameras. This stays on most of the day in all honesty. Camera on each side and plus it makes me look really cool. But that stays on until the dance floor. Dance floor I usually switch over to just one camera. Up until then though, this is on all day. Next up I've got these absolute bad boys. The Godox TT685C stands for Canon. I'm in love with these flashes, they're absolutely amazing. I've got this old Canon 430EX Mark II that I kept I don't know why I kept it to be honest. Oh, it's a Mark III. I think the reason I kept it was the fact that it swivels like this and I could bounce it off walls if I needed to. This has not been on my camera bag since I got these Godox. They're absolutely amazing. They've never missed a beat. The trigger works every time, so I've got both cameras on just one trigger and they're an absolute dream. I've had them for first dances set up on either side of the couple. There hasn't been a lot of dance floors because of everything that's going on, but if you're looking to get the Godox, I highly recommend those. I've got no problem with them whatsoever. And batteries seem to last forever on them, which is absolutely amazing as well. Obviously, lots of cards. There is six, ten cards there, and plus lots of other backups. I've got as many batteries as I can carry, in all honesty. I will take as many batteries as I can. And I'll also take a charger, because I'll happily charge my batteries on the venue's electricity bill. That does not bother me. I'll plug batteries in all day. Also take battery charger for these for the flashes as well in case I need them plug those in as soon as I get there make sure with a full I have to shave because I don't want to be stinking lots of masks obviously lately a bit sad really but yeah again loads of batteries as many batteries as I've got all charged as well so I will also pack my iPad in case I want to do a bit of editing during the wedding breakfast iPhone cable never want to have a dead phone and lastly just some snacks keep you going nip off to your car if you need to eat them on the sly crisps and chocolate what more could you want maybe it'll be a while to your food and you're starving it takes it out of you keep hydrated keep topped up with a bit of food just for a bit of energy until you eat properly I've also been taking this to weddings recently I've got two of these and the Godox just goes in there fastens in and then there's a soft box that expands dead fast like that and it's a fold down one, you know, like them pop-up tents you used to get as a kid. It's one of them, but it's a soft box. And it just it just literally sits on here. And if I want to go and do some portraits or anything, I'll stick that on a light stand. It sits on there and it's just a bit of nice light for portraits if I want. I've started just if I want to mess about really with a bit of flash if you've got time. Like I've said in many other videos, if you've got some downtime, just practice what you want to practice. Use it your advantage. And like I said, that big case will just stay in my car and I will just transfer everything into here. So I've just got this little backpack to take with me, which is nice. Also, I like that it opens backwards so that nobody can rob you, otherwise it'll fall out. I don't know if that's better or worse. 
But everything's in there, everything fits right really nicely in there. That's just off Amazon that. Oh, cable's nice. That's just off Amazon that. And that's it guys, that is everything that I take when I'm photographing a wedding. So I was all nicely packed and now I have to tidy all this up. Hit that like if you enjoyed it, see you in the next video. YouTube thinks you'll really enjoy this one as well. Love you, bye. Bye.